So for today's video, we are reviewing a wig that I got from Tinashe's hair. Before we get into it, you guys know I do like to show you guys everything that comes with your wig. So on the inside, so on the inside, all you get is your wig. And then right here, it has like details on the wig. So I did get a 16 inch 5x5 lace front wig. It's their big curly wig. But on the side, they do send you a bag with some stuff. It's so I like that they provide you with a melt band. You also get a rat tail comb some clips, some stocking caps, a bonnet, and also some lashes. Okay y'all, so this is their 5x5 Big Curly Lace Front Wig. It does come with the strap on the inside. It also comes with the adjustable straps in the back. What I usually like to do if I'm wearing my wig glue less is I just take these straps here that's placed in the back of your wig and I just tighten them. You get like such a snug fit with them and you definitely can wear your wig glue less. So the one that's on the right side, I just take it and bring it past this first comb. And the one on the left side, I pretty much did the same. So I pretty much just do X with the straps in the back there for a tighter fit. And when I tell you guys, this method will literally have your wig sitting so tight on your head. No movement, it does not slide back whatsoever. It literally just stays in place. So you definitely can wear your wig completely glueless with no sprays or any glue. So as you guys know already, I do not bleach my knots. So what I usually do if my knots are looking a little too white, which this one right here, as you guys can see, is looking just a slight bit too ashy for my skin complexion. So what I usually do is just take my foundation and I use a liquid foundation preferably. So I'm just going to take my foundation and dab it onto the back of my lace. Alright, so now that my lace is looking like this, I'm just going to go ahead and try my wig making sure that it fits right. With a wig like this, you definitely can switch it around. So you can place this wig on the side if you want to, as you guys can see, just like that. Or you can flip it to the other side. Or you can flip it to that side. You can definitely move this wig around however you want. Also with this one, I can simply do like a super easy flip over method. I can just take this here right here. What I'm like really going for right now is like a no part look. So I don't want any specific part in space. I just want to be able to like flip over the hair, making it look as if it was growing completely out of my scalp. I am going to just tweeze a little bit more hair out of this area right here. Add a little baby hair. All right, so first thing first, I'm just going to take my hot comb and flatten down up here. Do you guys see how good that is looking already? And all I did was pluck the tiniest bit of hair out. And yes, Miss Girl is sitting on my head, you guys. So this is approximately how much hair came out, which was not a lot at all. But I'm going to go in and cut out this excess lace. So I'm just going to pull out some of this hair right here because we do want to cover like this piece of lace. Mind you, you do not really see it, but again, I do want my wig to look as natural as possible. So I'm just going to, you know, pull out some of these hairs and, and yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and just wet my hair. 
So now I'm going to go in with some water and conditioner. I do have just water and conditioner in this bottle right here. I got this at my local beauty supply store. And then after the water, I'm just going to take some curling mousse. I am using the Lotta Body Bulbin Mousse. I'm just going to let the wig dry down for about a good 10 to 15 minutes and I'll come back to let you guys know how the wig is holding up and you know show you guys what it's looking like after it's been completely dried. Guys, this is what the wig is looking like completely glueless. She is flipped over. This is exactly the look that I was going for. I did want like the whole flip over method. As you guys know, I did not want to add any part in space to it. I just wanted it to look really natural. So far, so good. I'm very impressed with it. The curls are really pretty, super soft. So far, I'm not getting any shed in. The wig does have a slight smell to it, but I noticed after I applied my conditioner, it kind of went away, but I still would have to co-wash the hair in order to like the complete smell to go away. So it kind of had like that, um, you know, back in the old YouTuber, <laughs> old YouTube word was a corn chip smell. It kind of smelled like corn chips. So if you guys know you open a bag of corn chip and that scent, it has like this stench that just like immediately hits your nose. It kind of smells like chemicals, but not so much. Um, I will definitely have to co-wash this hair for that smell to go away. But besides that, that is like my only issue with the wig is the fact that it has this weird smell yeah so far so good the curls looks really good and healthy it looks very natural i would say and again it is completely glueless you guys so y'all know i'm all here for a completely glueless wig because i don't know i feel like honestly over time these products that were so comfortable putting on our skin is definitely gonna cause some like whether it's a breakout skin issues i feel like I don't know, I don't think all of this shit that we put on our skin is healthy, to be honest. As of lately, honestly, you guys, I've been, like, preferring glueless wigs over any wig that I have to, like, use glue or that lace spray. I just feel like it's bad for my skin. And also, as you guys can see, my forehead is already discolored. Me, personally, I don't use glue as often, only if I'm going on vacation. And even sometimes at that, I don't use glue. But... I do use the lace spray a lot and a lot of half the time like within a month probably at least a good 20 days out of that month I'm using that spray on my skin and I feel like it's definitely causing some like discoloration on my forehead as of lately so I do want to cut back on that that's why I say I do prefer glueless wigs as of recently just because I feel like they're a lot more better and a lot more safer <laughs> compared to having to put those spray on your skin and yeah so once I find a glueless wig that looks like this and definitely can stay down on my head without like sliding back or stuff like that, I am all here for it. And I definitely feel like you guys need this wig or a wig similar, but their glueless wigs are definitely bomb. Also, I did not have to go in and do too much plucking, so I really like that. Also, I did not have to really cut any excess hair. My last few curly wigs, I did have to go in and, you know, trim some hair on the ends. With this one, I did not really have to do any of that. So, the hair is definitely bomb, you guys. Right now, it does feel completely dry. And, yeah. With this one, I don't feel like I'll have any issues in terms of, like, frizzes or with the hair puffing up or getting too much bigger than this. I feel like this is as big as it's going to get. It's not going to get too much bigger than this. So I really like that. If it does, I would leave that somewhere here on the screen. Obviously, I'm going to wear it for, like, a good another hour or so after I'm done recording this video just to, like, test it out and see. So far, so good. I really don't have any complaints with this hair besides the little smell. But, um, yeah, the hair is definitely beautiful, definitely doing everything that it needs to do. Again, it is a completely glueless unit, so no glue, no nothing is needed on this wig. All you have to do is pop her on and pop her right back off. Again, this wig is from Tanache here. I did get this wig in a 16 inch. It is their 5x5 Big Curly wig. I think that's the name of it. 
Um, I will have it linked down below for you guys where you guys can purchase it. If I do have a discount code, that will be linked down below as well. Do not forget to comment down below let me know how you guys feel with this hair. Are we here for this one? Comment down below and let me know. This pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. Like, share, comment, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!